Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. We'll now be on the record in 23TR2777, State of Kansas versus Anthony Edward Dubas. Jared Regeer for the state. Is Mr. Dubas present? Anthony Dubas? I am Anthony Edward Dubus. Um, Dubas is the English pronunciation. Dubus is the original French. And I am appearing specially in propria persona, not pro se, as su juris. Okay, Under... first of all, I can't see you, so you're not here. Parents satisfied? Thank you, sir. Now, Absolutely. as far as I need to, I need to go, well, I need you back here in person. Okay, well, it's propria persona, not in person. I'm not the legal entity that you're claiming me to be. All right, sir, if I can't get you on camera, you're not here. I'm doing so right now. I'm just removing it as it takes, it takes a while. Now, the second order of business, let's get your name straight. I know a family with that the same exact spelling in America, and they do pronounce it Dubus, but you said you pronounce it Dubus, Dubus? as the original Dubus, as the Dubus. original French. French. Yep. Very well. Dubus. Thank you. Now, you're welcome. Now, Mr. Dubus appears in person and pro se. Correction. Proprietor persona. Well, in this court, it's in person. And uh, correction in all courts, it may be either pro se, either appear in person or proprietor persona. Well, in my years of law school and nearly 40 years of practice, both as an attorney and a judge, it's been in person and that's what I'm going with, sir. I believe that is just fine. So in any event, uh, we will proceed with your charges. In count one, sir, you're charged with, on August 17th, 2023, in Butler County, Kansas, operating a motor vehicle on a highway of this state without having a valid driver's license, pursuant to KSA 8-235A. Uh, no valid driver's license is a class B non-person misdemeanor. And that means that if you were to be convicted, your sentence could be up to six months in the county jail and your fine could be up to $1,000. In count two, it is alleged that on or about the 17th day of August, 2023 in Butler County, Kansas, you did then and there unlawfully operate or attempt to operate a motor vehicle to wit a 2003 Honda Accord upon a highway of the state to wit 1700 block of East Foxdale Street, Andover, Butler County, Kansas, while the vehicle was not registered in violation of KSA 8-142. Failing to register a vehicle as alleged here by the state is an unclassified non-person misdemeanor. It has its own special penalties of a fine as high potentially of $2,500 and a, a jail sentence potentially anywhere from 30 days to six months. In count three, it is alleged that on or about the 17th day of August, 2023, in Butler County, Kansas, Anthony Edward Dubus, a du, the boo, Dubus, the Dubus, the Dubus, Thank you, there, unlawfully and intentionally drive a motor vehicle upon a public highway or property open to use by the public and fail to provide proof of insurance upon demand by a law enforcement officer. Now, sir, if you had insurance when you were stopped, but just didn't have it with you or couldn't find it quickly, uh, just provide proof to the county attorney and they'll most likely dismiss that charge. But if uh, you really didn't have insurance, you're looking at a class B non-person misdemeanor 
The law does require a minimum fine if you're convicted of $300 up to a thousand. And it does have a possible jail sentence up to six months. Those are the charges against you. You do have the right to an attorney. You can hire any attorney of your choice, but if you cannot afford an attorney, you can apply and see if you qualify for a court appointed attorney. You don't have to have an attorney though. You can waive your right to an attorney and represent yourself. So that's a, an order of business we need to take care of today is whether you want an attorney or not. And then another is to make sure that you understand what the charges are and the possible penalties. Do you have any questions for me about that? Yeah, um, I don't understand uh, the nature and cause of the charges. I have not had my accuser face me to bring the charges against me as is a violation of due process. And I want to correct for the record of the court, the named defendant is different than the named per person being myself. Hold on, let me make sure I get that in view of the camera. The name person here is different than the one named in the charges and the counts being a difference of um, representation of who exactly it is the charges are against. And it is to my belief and knowledge that per KAR 8243 subsection A, exemption from the motor carrier safety regulations A, the occasional transportation of personal property by private motor carriers that is not for compensation and is not in the furtherance of a commercial enterprise. I am exempt from these rules and regulations. And if I need to get a USDOT number to show that I was not operating a commercial motor vehicle or as a common carrier for business, or for profit or in the furtherance of a commercial enterprise, I will be more than happy to produce that USDOT number to show that I am in fact a private motor carrier, not operating in commerce, not driving as I'm merely transporting and traveling. Mr. DuBois, you are not charged under the Uniform Commercial Carriers Code as uh, adopted by the state of Kansas. You are charged just as a motorist operating a motor vehicle. Again, not a commercial vehicle. These are yes, not laws that are subject to the commercial code or to the administrative regulation that you referred. Although you mentioned the word operating. Operating is a term used for the commercial furtherance of used for the furtherance of a commercial enterprise or driving, operating, the physical use or furtherance of for-profit business or for compensation. It, it may under the commercial code, but not under the code otherwise. Okay. It is I, under Kansas, correct? It is not under chapter eight of the Kansas statutes and or chapter 40, which you're filed under. But uh, we can address that at a later date at a trial or a motions hearing if necessary. But I do not see the statutory language that you're addressing being applicable to these statutes, at least preliminarily at this hearing. It is within, sorry. Okay, Go ahead. That, that's my ruling there. And then on the name issue, I am not tracking you there. The only difference I see is that at the, the top of the document, state of Kansas and your name are capitalized and in the initial or in the individual charges, it's traditional capital letter of the first name, all lowercase of the remaining names uh, throughout. So I'm not following that argument. Again, if you want to readdress that at a later date, we can, but I'm just not seeing that argument. Okay. Now well, then. Um, I motion and move this court to dismiss this case for the motion I have filed and for the brief and support of motion to dismiss for lack of jurisdiction 
Um, Sir, I do not have any such motion or brief in support. Mr. Regeer, have you received any such documents? Not to my knowledge, Your Honor. And so I fail to see, at least at this juncture, how such a motion is properly brought before the court. If unless um, the, unless the court is aware of something that I am not aware of. Well, I'm, that's what I'm trying to decide if it's properly before the court. Mr. Dubois, who did you who did you file the motion and brief with? Well, or seeing you... as your guys' e-file is down for um, mm -hmm. um, what, what is it? It's called a ransom malware or something. Um, I cannot e-file. Right, so but you can, I... you can mail it or you can walk it into the clerk of the court. Have you done that? Yes, I, I've mailed it. Um, by email, but, which a court I'm sorry, but I, I could. Okay. Go ahead, please. I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, you're fine. Um, it was by email, which the court clerk said I could, um, <laughs> considering the e-file was down. All and right. I can't really go 20-something miles to do that, considering my personal property was stolen. Um, when, did you, when did you to, email it, sir? When did, when did you email it? Um a while ago judge yeah yes we, we do not accept emailed filings only fax or by mail or person okay oh, i was told that they do not have fax so i could not do that so email would be okay I, he may have called the wrong courthouse then um they Which spent 10 minutes finding my case because your guys' system was down so I'm fairly certain it which... was the correct one. Okay. Do you, do you recall which you file or which court you called? Um, let me go to my scent. T. Stafford at bucocansas.com. I think that might be at the county courthouse, not the district courthouse. Okay. So Is if it? you want... Okay. If you want to file something, sir, let's make sure you file it in a fashion that will get it officially recognized. So Ashley, how do you suggest he file motions and the like? He will either need to mail us a copy of it or he can fax file. Okay, and uh, my honor, I have one last question. For the nature and cause of these charges, is it a criminal or is it a civil matter? This is a criminal matter. Okay. As is a criminal matter, there are two jurisdictions which I may be tried. One is the common law, and the other is a military tribunal. Which of those two do you intend to try me in? I intend you to try you in this one, sir. Which is this one? Please elaborate. Criminal, the criminal one. Well, criminal has two jurisdictions. It is either the common law or it is the uh, military tribunal. Well, sir, we're not going to go into that at this point. Are you refusing to acknowledge to me and tell me the nature and cause of the charges? I have told you the nature and the cause of the charges. I you are not allowed. I think the remaining issue, sir, is whether you're going to hire an attorney, apply for court appointed, or represent yourself. My Honor, I need to know whether or not this is going to be in the common law or a military tribunal. Well, I, I am going to uh, ask you one more time. Are you going to hire an attorney, apply for court appointed, or represent yourself, sir? Again, I'm not representing myself. I am sui juris in proper persona, in proprietor persona. So you're not going to have an attorney, or, or are you? No, I'm not going to be presented or re-presented by any um, British agent registrant or anybody else to be a ward of the state. I, I'm standing on my rights and I do not abrogate them. And if you're going to continue to move this court without any sort of... Um, evidence 
well, I guess I'll have to file that, but. Um, We're going to set your hearing. Are, how do you how do you want to plead to the charges first? Then, if you don't want to have an attorney, how do you want to plead to no valid driver's license? My honor, are you attempting to administer the trust without permission and consent? I'm asking you for your response. I'm giving you the chance to respond. Do you want to plead to this charge or not? My honor. I don't make any pleas as I am a peering and proprietor persona and any plea would submit jurisdiction to the court. I uh, am here challenging jurisdiction under the common law as I'm owed the law of peace. And this is a, a fraud action as fraud in the inducement from the beginning under due process violations from Deputy Khalid Barrique and the other officers or sheriffs that were on scene. And if you are attempting to administer the trust without consent of myself, the living man, the grantor in common law, which is above Admiralty Maritime Law, then you will be in violation of Article 3, Section 2, the trial of all crimes, except in case of impeachment, shall be jury, and such trial shall be held in a state where said crimes shall have been committed, but when they are not committed with any state, the trial shall be at such place or places as the Congress may by law have directed. And as there is a difference between the Republic State Kansas before the state of Kansas was brought into the Federation of the Union of States, and you will also be in violation of 18 U.S. Code Sections 2381, treason. Whoever owing allegiance to the United States, the corporation, not United States of America or for America, levies war against them or adheres to the enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere, is guilty of treason and shall suffer death or shall be imprisoned not less than five years and fined under the, under this title, but not less than $10,000 and shall be incapable of holding any office under the United States. Now, I, Anthony Edward Dubus, the proper case trig name, not the all caps legal entity of which you're attempting to administer the trust of, am, am an American state national, a Kansas state national per 8 USC 1101 subsection 21 and is recognized by the Kansas Human Rights Commission as I have dealings with them going over my nationality in regards to a corporation in which I have a complaint filed against has already been refused mediation by the company and is being investigated by Barbara Carper, the special investigator of Kansas Human Rights Commission over my case specifically. And if you're attempting to move this case against myself, you are in violation of executing law rather than just judging on it which if I need to pull up that statute sir, do you, case as well. Sir, I, do you still have the same phone number you had posted on your bond that you have with AAA Butler County Bail Bonds? Is that still your current phone number? Um, my honor, my honor, Webster, it is, you may call me either Anthony Dubus or Anthony Edward Dubus. I do not accept the term, sir. Um, although, well. yes my phone number is still the same as and so and mr dubois is your address still homeless or do you have something more specific at this time see they they refuse to put down my address i am within wichita kansas rural free delivery within the four corner rule 67202 aka the brackets around 67202 and they refused to put down my rural free delivery address and put me as homeless instead because they could not accept it. They refused. Also, 
Deputy Khaled Barake, when I was taken to uh, Butler County Detention Center, refused that there were any magistrates at all within any of the courts, which per due process of common law, I was to be taken before a magistrate or a tribunal, both judicial, either Article 3 or 4, in front of a magistrate judge to be decided whether or not I was even within the jurisdiction to be tried for these charges or commercial crimes. Your next court date will be two weeks from Monday. What do you, what do you have, uh, Ashley? Two weeks from this past Monday, what is it? I believe that is going to be Monday the 18th. All right, Mr. Dubois, your next court date is December 18th. At 8 a.m. by Zoom, you can always appear in the courthouse personally if you like. I am appointing attorney Darren Patterson. Now, you, if you're not, if you don't want to use him. I do not accept any uh, appointment I, of any but, attorney. But I show that you don't have a specific residence. Do you have a job, employment? Um, I did. And then these actions against myself from the state of Kansas caused me not to have it anymore, which I am in process of finding another one, putting in applications every day and making sure I do my due diligence to make sure that I can gain my compensation and my livable wage. Well, your attorney is Darren Patterson. I want you mm -hmm. two to talk. If he can be of any service to you, I, I would uh, encourage you to let him do so. If you have any questions or if you want him to help you with any motions, he can advise you on that. But right. I think at this point, there is a lot of confusion on your part about no, there's the no law confusion. and how it works. Did you I go to law school? More than... Mr. Dubois, did you go to law school? Are you a licensed attorney? It is Anthony Dubois or Anthony Edward Dubois. Um, no, I am not a la licensed practice attorney, although that does not stop the common law right of anybody practicing law for themselves or not my bad, not practicing as that is the commercial term, enacting law and being in court for themselves on behalf of themselves and to have any form of counsel they deem necessary. All right. We do have finally a point we agree on that you don't have to have counsel. But I want Mr. Patterson available to you because you have, in this court's opinion, mixed federal law and state law and other sources of, of law that uh, don't my all honor. go together. May and I, I just elaborate? Want him to be available to you. Um, I think we have exhausted this particular hearing the purpose of which is merely to make sure you know what the charges are, the possible penalties, and your rights that I have gone over with you, including your right to counsel, which I'm hearing you say you don't wish to utilize. But nevertheless, I'm going to direct Mr. Patterson to at least be available to you, that you be here again December 18th at 8 a.m. by Zoom, and I'm going to continue your bond until that date and time. So okay. anything else, Miss Arthur Anthony Edward Dubois, please Thank take you, that up. Honor. Thank you. Please take that um, up at the next hearing after you've had a time to talk to Mr. Patterson. Okay. My last final thing I want to say is I'm already filing a Kansas Commission on Judicial Conduct complaint against a judge. Um, and that would be the prior judge, Mr. Um, oh God, what's it? Mr. Lee, I believe. And I will be adding you to the uh, complaint as well, um, as you are violating my due process right and my Sixth Amendment right. Well, you're welcome to do that, sir, if you want. But at this time, this hearing is adjourned. Okay. And I also want to mention that Mr. Regeer has not moved this case against myself. And that the witness 
firsthand witness that needs to be present to move this case against myself is not present. Your argument and is a violation of my Sixth Amendment. I, I yield. Your, your arguments are noted and we are in recess. You are excused at this time, Mr. Anthony Edward Dubois. Dubois, thank you, my Dubus. honor. I will get Dubois. You, you're fine. Um, and it, in the reference to the family of which um, you are probably familiar with, um, yes. I am the only person actually up being within common law. They subject themselves as citizens of which I'm not. And that is probably where the, the familiarity of the last name comes from. And right. I appreciate your time. Thank you. And I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you, you too. We are on the record in 2023, TR 2777, State of Kansas versus Anthony Dubus, Devin Canfield for the state, the defendant in person and with counsel Darren Patterson. Your Honor, if I may. No, I'm not finding his file. It must not have caught up with the switch quick turnaround. So go ahead. Your Honor, I did uh, talk with Mr. DeVoose. I would tell the court that uh, um, the sum of the conversation, or I guess the end of it, is that he is asking to represent himself. Um, I would, uh, um, in review of case law, Judge State v. Collins, 57 Ken 408, would suggest that he does have the right to represent himself and not have counsel appointed. If it's at any stage besides trial, and we're certainly not at trial yet, so that uh, because of that, he does have that right. I think he wants to invoke that right and represent himself, Your Honor. Mr. Patterson, he did make that clear to me at the last hearing, but he didn't seem to have all of uh, the law in his proper grasp as the court saw it. And uh, so I wanted counsel to be available to him in the event that he wanted to avail himself to it. Is we, there- Judge, I can report, we did have a very long conversation concerning the law and I can tell a court there was just a difference of opinion about it. Mm -hmm. But okay. he, that's as much as I can tell a court. I object for the record. I am not representing myself and I did not accept your forced appointment of Mr. Patterson onto myself. I am not representing myself. I am in propria persona as age of majority, um, handling my legal affairs as I need to, which is, again, I, as Mr. Patterson said, retain and attain my rights, and I shall not be abrogated from them. And I resuce Mr. Patterson from being a public defender for me. And I also want to show for the record that you called my proper case trade name, my my given name, um, Anthony Dubus, instead of the all caps Anthony Edward Dubus named uh, accused defendant and if i can also have um i believe it was rikir who is the uh, prosecutor or attorney for the state to appear and show himself on the record uh, let's see again i ask for mr rigir to show himself and Sorry, appear on the record you give me just a moment please again Savannah, sir, if you'll give me just a minute. Savannah, do you think that that court file could be brought to me rather quickly? I don't think it got pulled for today. Okay. Just in, because you said it yeah, right. recently. And I'm going to try to pull it up on the computer. We've got a little bit of, we have a little bit of our computer functions back, but I don't know if I'm going to have what I need, but I will look. Do you want me to go try and pull that for you, Judge? 
Well, give me just a second to see what I can find on the computer, if anything, to save you that trouble. All right, Mr. DeBoos, you're charged, as you may recall, with operating a motor vehicle without a valid license in Butler County, Kansas on August 17 of 2023. You are also charged in count two with operating a motor vehicle without registration or with expired tags on that same date, as well as in count three operating a motor vehicle without proof of liability insurance on August 17th of 2023. So again, that's no driver's license, no tagger registration and no insurance. I object before we move forward. And under Kansas law, if you're going to operate a motor vehicle on Kansas roadways or federal highways or county highways, you are agreeing to follow the law that you will have a driver's license, have a licensed tagged car, and know that you will have insurance on that car. Now, if you do not want to have counsel, I'll have Mr. Patterson, I'll ask that he be standby. Uh, at this time, you want to represent yourself. You say you don't want to represent yourself, but you can't, you can't have it uh, uh, always. You have to either have counsel or represent yourself. So you don't want Mr. Patterson is that, or other counsel, is that correct? Hold on, I object. This needs to be addressed first. Can Mr. Regeer please show himself on the record in person for this matter? Mr. Patterson, humor the defendant, or Mr. Regeer, why don't you, for the humor of the defendant, show your picture, turn your screen on. I assume you're the one that charged the document. There you go. That's Jared Regeer, the prosecutor that filed the case. He's not the witness in the case. The witness will testify at trial. So, again, you don't want an attorney to represent you. Is that right, Mr. DeBoos? I do not want okay. an attorney. Thank you. Thank you for and answering this question. I need question. Mr. Regeer to actually come on the record. Okay. Now, you're not in control of this hearing, sir. I'm appointed to do that, so you do not want an attorney. Do you understand that you could hire any attorney of your choice? And if you cannot afford an attorney, you can apply for court-appointed attorney. Do you understand that, sir? I comprehend that. Um, all right, that's all I need to know. Before we move forward, I need all right, to... All comprehend it, and you don't need, want the attorney. I need to know, for the record, the nature of the charges. Who is the who is the person or individual bring the verified complaint as a sworn affidavit against myself or the accused legal entity? As as you made that clear, Mr. Jared Regeer, you are the one that filed that affidavit, correct? Your Honor, I'm looking at the information in this case. Um, it does appear to include my name in the opening paragraph of the information. All right, and uh, I've already told you the nature of the charges. I've explained those to you both at the last hearing and this one. No driver's license is a B misdemeanor. If convicted, you could get six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. No tag is an unclassified misdemeanor. If convicted, you could get a $2,500 fine. Or you could get a sentence 30 days to six months and the no insurance as a B misdemeanor, it has a minimum fine of $300 up to 1,000 and it has a possible sentence up to six months. The next thing I need to know is, do you want a trial in this case? I object. Uh, I need the affidavit to be produced. So that way I may see as evidence the sworn affidavit from the individual filing the complaint. All right, sir, it is your responsibility to either have your attorney file that motion for discovery to get that, or you must do it yourself if you refuse to have an attorney. So that is that is your responsibility to file a motion for discovery and the state will provide that to you. Do you want a trial, sir? I verbally motion right now for the affidavit to be produced on the record of the sworn, sorry, the sworn affidavit to be produced on the record for the verified complaint. Well, there are rules of procedure 
And if you want to review the statutes, if you're going to represent yourself, I would suggest you do so because those rules of procedure will tell you how to get that. Now, do you want a trial? That is, do you want to plead not guilty to these charges and proceed with a trial at a future date? I need to know on the record what jurisdiction this trial is going to be in. Article three, equity. Article two, uh, maritime, my bad, military tribunal or Article one, admiral, admiralty maritime law. This Your will Honor. be under the jurisdiction of the state of Kansas, the district court, 13th Judicial District. Someone had a comment? Your Honor, I was just going to say that as Mr. DeBoos has requested to go pro se, he is held to the same standards as a fully licensed attorney. All of this information is available to him through a written request. At this time, I would just ask that we proceed in an orderly fashion and just set it for pretrial. Right. Well, I, I am certainly Mr. Canfield. Uh, I believe I'm proceeding in an orderly fashion. Can now, I not verbally? I'm going to give you one last chance. Read the rules. Read the rules of evidence and follow them, Mr. DeGroos. Now, I'm going to give you one more time. Do you want a trial? And if so, do you want a trial to the court or a trial to a jury? I want to object to the pro se comment. I am not pro se. I am in propria persona. And right. I'm making that very clear on the record. And if this does go to trial, I retain and claim the Article 3 equity court. And I demand a jury, a trial by jury, grand jury of 12 trial. jurors. Well, you're going to get a trial under Kansas law of six jurors for a misdemeanor, not 12. And uh, you're to put I'm that sorry. request in writing I object too. All, all. Okay, you're going to put that in writing too. All criminal courts are federal, and this court is federal incorporated. No, it's under, not. No, under it's the not, United sir. States you're totally out of order, sir. You, you're saying things you don't know what they. You apparently don't know what they mean. They don't belong in this court. I'm going to set this. Counsel, any objection to setting this for jury trial? He has not properly made demand for jury trial. Not by the state, Your Honor. All right. We'll set this for jury trial. You must appear February 5th at 9 a.m. for your pre-trial hearing. And you must appear February 7 and 8 at 9 a.m. for your jury trial. Your jury trial will be, again... February 7th and 8th at 9 a.m. Now, Mr. Patterson, I'd like you to be available unless you want to, again, take the position that I can't do that, but I, I would think for jury trial, I could have you on standby. Would you agree or disagree? Your Honor, I believe the court can order that I be on standby. All right. Thank you, sir. But Mr. DeBoos, if you're going to represent yourself, you've got a lot of law to learn because you're way out there in left field as the cliche goes, and you're looking at some state matters. You're in district court of the state of Kansas, the 13th Judicial District. And if you're going to represent yourself, there are rules of procedure for this court that you need to familiarize yourself with rather than those that you're trying to drop on from who knows what source. So I'll uh, note any objections you have. You can okay. preserve them for your right to appeal, but those are the trial dates and pre-trial dates that you have before you. Again, I object because I need to know the nature of this, whether it is common equity or it is admiralty for the jurisdiction. I've told you the jurisdiction, sir. No, you have not. I object and that. show on the record Objection that the noted. judge has not showed the jurisdiction and the nature of it. For the final time, this is in the 13th Judicial District, the District Court of Kansas, and this is a traffic proceeding involving two misdemeanor crimes and an unclassified Mr. I object as the Sixth Objection Amendment. Noted, I need sir. to know the nature of it. And you are not expressing and elaborating the true nature of it, whether it is in common equity or 
Admiralty. Okay. Sir, uh, that will be anything. Is there anything else we need to address, Mr. Canfield, from the state? No, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Mr. Canfield. Thank you, Mr. Patterson and Mr. DeBoos. That will be all until February 5th, unless council or defense files any motions that need to be set for hearing prior to that date. Thank so, you. Mr. DeBoos, you may go at this time. And Mr. Patterson, anyone else that you need to call on this docket? Judge, that was the last case I had down for today. Okay. All right. And Mr. Patterson is excused as well. Have a good day. Thank you. You're welcome.